Holy Oh, there's something down there. Oh my God. This is a whole alligator complete with razor sharp teeth, thick scales, and a big old tail. Now, if I'm honest, I've actually never cooked an alligator before, much less dry aged one, but as they say, there's a first time for everything. The plan is that once dry aged, we're gonna deep fry this entire thing, smother it in a Nashville hot sauce, and then make a dry aged Nashville hot gator sandwich. This should be a fun one, let's get started. Okay, before we do anything, let's take a look at this alligator because this is new to me. Starting off with that head. As you can see, we have some ridiculously sharp teeth. Be careful, Sophia, this could take off a finger. <laughs> the eyes seem to be shut, but we have this crazy reptilian skin and scales on it. It's so weird to feel this stuff. Moving down, we have these arms and these back legs, a pretty decent amount of meat on both of them. We also have all of these ribs, pretty shrimpy, but definitely some meat on there too. And just check out these claws. There's almost like a webbing in between, these really long nails. And on the back, there's like this padding on the skin. It's kind of squishy and honestly feels really weird to the touch. And then we get down to the tail and this is where the real meat is. From what I can tell, there's two muscles going on. We have one towards the top, one towards the bottom with a little bit of a seam connecting them. Now I will say this is a pretty small alligator, just under 10 pounds. So we'll see what happens when we dry age it. Hopefully there's still some meat left over. Let's check out the inside. Really crazy looking cavity here. You can see we have that spine. And I actually think these here are the tenderloins essentially the filet mignons of the alligator. So fun fact about gators, me and my best friend from college actually call each other gator. I have no idea why. I'm gonna call him to see if he knows. What's good, gator? What's up, gator? Quick question, do you remember why we call each other gator? Because you're a gator. <laughs> uh, I kind of remember it being from that Reno 911 clip where they find a gator in a pool. That gator's dead. Oh. <laughs> well, that gator dead. Yeah, this gator dead. That gator dead. <laughs> All right, thanks, man. Later, gator. Now, because we're gonna dry age this, I wanna get a good idea of what it tastes like before dry aging. So I'm gonna remove one of the tenderloins and we're gonna cook that now. I'm also gonna take off a little bit from the back here. Two pretty small pieces, but they'll do fine for a taste test. I seasoned them up, added some butter to a cast iron, and gave them a sear. I've only ever tried alligator in jerky or nugget form, so I was excited to give these a shot. It's actually pretty good. Almost like chicken, I guess, but a bit more delicate. I actually really like that. And just like that, it was time to dry age. I'll see you in three weeks. That was fast. Well, here she is. This is easily the most excited I've ever been about a dry aging experiment. But I gotta say, at this point, I am a little bit worried. I mean, this thing looks more like a fossil than something that should be on a food channel. But either way, we're gonna try to work with it. First and foremost, this thing is pretty much hard as a rock. I mean, we could use this as like a baseball bat or something. Like, very little malleability to this thing whatsoever. Especially this top section here. It's pretty much just like all bone. A lot of the meat towards the top has mostly dehydrated and pretty much disappeared. But I will say, there's really not much of a smell to it. Like there's no off smells. It kind of smells like your typical dry aged steak. So I'm feeling good about that. I mean, just check out this inside here with these ribs fully in view. And the fat is just insane. It's like super soft, but it's really pronounced. Now moving on to the tail, there's definitely that outer pellicle, but it still has some give to it. I'm thinking that inside here is gonna be the best meat we can get out of it. So we're gonna start by trying to remove some of this pellicle. And this was quite the process. The pellicle is the outer layer that always needs to be removed, but the more I sliced, it seemed like all I was finding was dry meat and fat. Okay, first of all, we need to talk about this fat. I mean, this is some of the most weirdly textured and visually just craziest looking fat I've ever seen in my life. Dry aged fat tends to be a little bit strange, I guess you could say, but this is just extra like slimy. It almost reminds me of like dry aged Wagyu fat. Pretty weird stuff, but we we do have hope, and that's the real reason I'm talking right now. We do have some meat. After digging for a very long time, there's clearly some really 
nice looking alligator meat down there. I was convinced I would have to scrap the whole project, but the loins were fully intact. I just did my best to work around the fat and remove them. Well guys, I've officially hit the point where I am sweating profusely from trimming this stuff, but we finally made it. We have four beautiful loins of dry aged alligator. The two bottom ones here, the two top ones here. I'm not gonna say they're big, but I'm very proud of them. Uh, let's move on to the next step. Now, the funny thing is I bought multiple big old bins, two gallons of milk, a whole bunch of oil, all sorts of other ingredients, because I envisioned that we'd be deep frying the entire alligator. But this is what we got and we're gonna work with it. And I proceeded to season them up with a barbecue rub. Okay, we're gonna quickly let this dry brine and get started on the coleslaw. Okay, so while our alligator's brining, we're gonna make a really simple and easy coleslaw. And we're starting with the biggest cabbage I've ever seen. I'm a big fan of coleslaw because it's forgiving and you can tinker with the proportions. Sometimes I'm looking for a more creamy coleslaw and I'll go heavier on the mayo. Other times I want it more tangy and go heavier on the vinegar. Once you have these basic ingredients down, you can modify it to your liking. And let's get back to that gator. Okay, so making our dredging station is extremely simple. For the wet, all we need is half a cup of milk, two eggs. I only got like five shells in it this time. Oh my God. Things are going well over here. Uh, and just a little bit of hot sauce. So Nashville hot sauce is really just a few simple ingredients. We have some butter, let this start to melt down. Some salt, a bit of black pepper, some garlic powder, brown sugar, a bit of smoked paprika. I'm adding some maple syrup, and of course that cayenne for a kick. Pretty good amount of it. And just give that a good mix. You'll notice that the butter separates from the other ingredients, which is completely normal. And time to dredge. Add the chicken, or in this case, gator, to the flour, into the egg mixture, back into the flour, then fry at about 350F until it's golden brown and crispy. Add in that Nashville hot sauce and toss to combine. To assemble the sandwich, I added mayo, the alligator, coleslaw, and of course, a few pickles. And you're looking at a sandwich holding the entire yield that came from the dry aged alligator. Either way, it was looking pretty good. We found the bottom. Oh. Okay, good, good. Oh, fish, holy f Oh, there's something down there. Okay, time for the taste test. We're out here in the marshes. I'm 99% sure this place is just crawling with alligators. Max, we're in Connecticut. Okay, I'm pretty sure this place is crawling with alligators, but either way, I'm going for a bite. Oh yeah, this is actually a really good sandwich. You definitely get that spiciness from the Nashville, a little bit of sweetness as well. Can I tell that it's dry aged? Not really, but I gotta say it's still very tasty alligator. If you're gonna dry age an alligator, probably do a bigger one. This is a very small amount of yield for all the work we put in, but overall, I'd still call it a success. Uh, I might go swimming now, not too sure what I'm gonna do, but either way, drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and I'll see you next time. Also, sh uh, shout out to my editor for suggesting this. Terrible idea. A really good sandwich. What do we do now? I'm soaking wet, we have no towels. I'm just gonna go drive home, <laughs> like this. <laughs>